Well, good, good afternoon, good morning to any one of you who's listening or watching our uh, show today. Once again, my name is Rosanna Penilla Barucha. I am the host of the Stories of the Absolutely Fabulous Women of today. And today I have a wonderful guest. She is a Reiki master teacher. Is a holistic practitioner and she has lots of things to tell us about who she is, what she's doing, and most of all, her stories connect with your stories. And however the situation is, you know, sometimes it can just come into the middle, come in the front, or maybe at the end. So the reason why we're doing this sharing stories because we all know that sharing stories connect us to you or you to us. So this is about emotional connection and so that we can get a deeper understanding of the other people's experiences despite our differences, okay? And so our purpose is to bring encouragement, hope, friendship, and inspiration. So hopefully all these factors you know, could be found today. So without too much talking and further ado, so we do have our friend, Nisreen Mamapoda, please welcome and introduce yourself, Nisreen. Hi, Rosanna, Hi. and thank you so much for asking me to be part of your group and, you know, coming forward with my story. Um, it's amazing to be here. Thanks. You're most welcome. And, you know, I did not expect that, you know, I will have someone who can talk about holistic you know, living and things that, you know, um, can help, especially during this uh, situation where, you know, mm -hmm. we're not uh, really very um, relaxed to do things, right? Because we have to observe some restrictions. So I want to ask you, so in your practice, okay, tell us a little bit about what you do in your practice and how it can help our uh, followers. Okay, sure. Um, as you rightly said, I run a business called Holistic Life Solutions. And the life solutions I offer are through meditation, Reiki, and hypnosis. I am trained in past life regression in hypnosis, as well as advanced hypnosis, where we actually connect to your super conscious mind, not just your subconscious. So it is pretty deep, a little different from the mainstream hypnosis, but absolutely wonderful, brings great results. Uh, with all of these tools, what we offer right now, stress relief and fear relief, because everybody is in a state of uncertainty right now, what's happening next, what's going on, and all this fear sets in. What if I get, um, you know, I get the virus what will happen to me and they just make a mountain out of it and put themselves in fear and when they put themselves in fear what happens fear and stress is one of the key things that brings your immunity down so yeah. why not release yourself from that and give your body back the ability to fight it and heal itself right wow. i want to ask you since you are um reiki master teacher so can you describe um, how your typ typical day goes by? Oh, I am, my typical morning is a lazy morning since this whole pandemic started. Um, instead of waking up early, I'm waking up a little late, taking my time, getting my morning tea, breakfast, and I come down to my office, it's in the basement, so I come down to my office, say, around 9 30 or so 9 30 10 i come down sometimes i have meetings sometimes i have clients networking groups or sometimes i just have to catch up on admin work social media stuff like that so i'm in my office until about one five year old mom one in the morning me. or one in the afternoon one in the afternoon <laughs> One in the morning, sure I'm fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> because for most of the time, I'm awake at 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, really? I, I'm. There are days I am because I'm reading, but otherwise, I'm usually fast asleep by then. Okay. I want to ask you, so if you are, um, you know, teaching, are you doing it online on Zoom or something? Yes, online on Zoom. And most of my classes are now evening because people are working during the days. 
I so see. it's usually six to nine in the evening. I see. I see. Yeah. So, uh, so how class. do they book with you? Um, I have all the information on my website. They register through that or they send me an email or a message, whatever works for them. And we figure out I'd like to talk to the students before I enroll them. Yeah. Because I, I like to know their whys, why mm -hmm. they want to do that. Right. right. And, yeah, and that's um, important that to have exactly. Group. Yeah. Yes. So you will be sharing those links, right? With me. So I can yes. do that in yes. the promotion. Yes. So I I have another question because based on what you are and what you do, I also would like to know whether you have a, a sort of like inspirational quote or person. Oh, yes, I have. Well, I have both. My inspirational quote that I, I really resonate with is that a healer is not someone that you go to for healing. Rather, it's someone that triggers within you your own ability to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. And that I feel great. And the tools I use is to do that, to give you back the ability to heal yourself. Because so God has given... Yeah, God sorry. has given you that ability. We just deprive our bodies that ability with all the stresses and negativity that we put on. That's correct. I totally right. agree. So, um, if I, I if I would like to add um add this right, so you see my beautiful background. Oh yes, Sedona, my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go there. It's on my bucket list. I haven't right. yet been. All right. So you know, I will come along with you. Okay. You. Yeah, I I uh, happened to uh, hear about Sedona in like 2017, and um, you know I had a plan to go there, and that got canceled. So anyhow, if you're going, uh, please do remember. Me. I shall I, keep I you in mind. We are group. four or five of us who want to go, so we are yeah. hoping when things open up, and we would like to go. Um, you know, more when Greg Braden goes, he's one of our favorite authors. So if he is doing a trip, we are sure to join. But right now with lockdowns, he, it's not possible. So I know, I know. But you know what? Uh, one thing that that, that uh, is good is that, you know, we have this technology that we can browse on the beautiful pictures. And oh, yes. <laughs> That's what I've been doing, you know, for me to focus my mind that, you know, I'm still in the, in the open. So I don't yeah. feel like I'm too, um, you know, like in prison <laughs> kind of thing. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm not the kind, I don't feel in prison. I'm, I'm like, I have been, um, I guess, raised as an only child. So I have been very, like, I like my company. Let's put it that way. I'm happy. Yeah, that's good. I basically enjoy my, you know, my own self, right? Uh, you know, I've, I've been yeah. working from home for the last 25 years. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I get, to, I, I, I get to go out to meet my clients. And of course, you know, I like to go to the parks and, you know, be with nature. But just because I've been working like long hours these days. And so I just really feel that I need to see something like nice, that water. And that. Right. Uh, me yes. To, to re-energize you know it, yeah definitely i i need you have that to reboot from... sometimes you have to reboot sometimes yes. your brain right it yes helps, yes right? Yeah, for me, like the lake show is not too far. So I just drive up five minutes, go there, just sit in front of the water and I feel recharged. Oh, my goodness. Can we meet there? I always go to Lake Shore. So I got the promenade sure. and I go, yeah, I I think I go to, you know, from Mississauga all the way to Burlington Lake Shore. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm in Oakville. So I just go down third line and I yeah. sit there, spend some time and then leave. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That, that, that's cool. And it's good that you're so close. I have to drive like 10 minutes drive for me to be yeah. the closest one. But, you know, uh, it's beautiful. So anyhow, that's life. You know, it's normal for all of us, you know, sometimes to find a place where you can feel like you have to rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to, uh, how do you call it? Uh, download some of those stuff and then upload new ones so something like that right right so, um i want to ask you this is i think so so important in you know the way we uh look at things right and this is something really 
completely different. But the question is, what is invisible for, but what is invisible but you wish people could see? That that means, like yeah, I mean for me, thing, I, like a three D kind of thing. Yeah, I'm kind of like um, I'm an energy where when vibrations and energy. So for me, if people could just see the vibration and energy of love, it would be so beautiful that they wouldn't want to do anything to be away from it. They would like to propagate it more and wow, the world would be such a better place then. Exactly. So talking about better place. So um, before Canada, uh, what and where was the place you were? Okay, I was born and brought up in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. um, got married, moved to India for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to Bahrain, mm -hmm. which is in the Arabian Gulf, beautiful mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, we ended up in Canada, which was a fluke. We so how weren't long even ago planning. was that when you moved to Canada? We weren't even planning. We had gone to a lawyer to help another friend he was who was planning to come to Canada. And he just wanted us to tag along to ask the right questions. The lawyer said, we'll take you there. So it was more like a bet because we didn't think the lawyer would be able to do it that fast. But he did. And I landed up here. <laughs> So and it what, was good. It was, was such a blessing. What year was that? Oh, geez. It was like 26, 27 years back. Oh, same as mine. Wow. Well, yeah, we do we, have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. I, well, actually, I've been to Pakistan. I'm married to a Pakistani. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I actually put it like to the end. I said, I'm going to mention <laughs> earlier. <laughs> That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, my last name is Barucha from my husband. Uh huh. Yeah, but I originally I'm from the Philippines. Okay. And, uh, cool. Yeah, I, I lived in Dubai for 15 years. Oh wow! Okay, Canada. so you also lived lived in the Arab world for some time. Yes, and I used to travel to Bahrain at that time. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I used to work for doctors. So okay. I want to tell you something. Um. When we talk about, you know, coming to Canada, how did you feel when you first arrived in Canada? Uncertain, didn't know what was in store. We came with whatever we had, no job, nothing. So we had our savings to rely on for at least some time. And then just, you know, settling in, stayed with a friend for the first 15 days and then moved into our own place. Mm -hmm. um, rented an apartment and it's just like one thing after another uh, things started happening good things happened. we were always looking forward to something new and something good to happen and it was amazing and after a couple of years we had kids and it's just been a blessing to be here in Canada I how love this place have? how many kids do you have three girls wow so there must be all grown up now right well, the oldest is 25. Okay. And the youngest is, well, she's going to turn 18 soon. Oh, nice. Oh, so nice. So that's that's incredible. You know, each and every one of us has a story. Oh, yes. You're coming from a different country, and then now you move to Canada, and now you have made this place as your second home. Uh, there's a lot of adjustments happening in between. There's a lot of right. roller coaster rides in between, right? So, of course, stories, you know, could be different. But, you know, at the end of the day, we all have a story. Mm -hmm. Right. That's that's what it is. So I, I came like about 25 years ago as well. And uh, when you said that you, for you, it happened too fast. That's what happened to me. In three yeah. weeks time, I was called. My visa was ready. Three weeks time. Yeah. Yeah. So something like that month, happened <laughs> yeah so in one month in one month i was thinking oh my goodness when do i go and i go and it was coming like christmas time so i said oh, i i want to go home first so i spent uh three months in with my family before coming to canada i readjusted myself because i know this will be totally different life but what i did not know is like yeah for me you know i don't check places like i came here without knowing what i'm going into in march <laughs> so you know what i meant I met the snow. 
So did I. <laughs> you came in March. I came in, in October. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the start of <laughs> the start of it. Yes. So I came like right away. I came, I, you know, and I said, oh, it's so bright. It's just like the places I, you know, I've been like Dubai, so sunny, Philippines, so sunny. And I came here. Okay. The, the gates, uh, Pearson Airport opened, the gate opened and it was like, oh, it's so bright. I said, this is my place because I first landed in Vancouver, but it was kind of like gloomy. In 24 yeah. hours, I took the flight to Toronto. <laughs> because i'm so used to sun right and then yeah. you know what happened you know what happened at that time so i found a i found a hotel i stayed in one of the hotels the next day i woke up with snow oh no <laughs> snow how did was, that feel know, like, like you know up to my knees and i said oh my goodness this is so much yeah how did, did that feel that. sorry how did that feel when you first saw snow well, it wasn't the first time, but that was the first mountain-like snow, okay? For, because I've been to Europe so much already before coming here, and I've seen snow, uh, but not this much of snow. <laughs> you can't see the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and I thought, you know, one thing that's funny, I thought every time that it would snow, everyone should stay at home. No one will go. <laughs> because i don't see people outside right don't see people outside so i thought oh i said so everybody you know like stay home because you know, i was thinking that oh, how can you drive in this place never thought that you know, <laughs> okay plowing and things like you know it's just because you see i did not study how the city yeah, like. mm -hmm. i just came I, I i was young i didn't care I, i'm fearless <laughs> <laughs> i came alone okay Mm -hmm. I came alone, so you know. Um, yeah. For me, I I love challenges, mm -hmm. and no, that's what make makes life beautiful is when you right. Know, you know when as, you, and as long as you go after the challenge with the right attitude, yeah, it is it is the journey that you enjoy. Exactly. That's a, that's exactly what happened to me. So my life my life story is very 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 colorful <laughs> and you know um it's really a roller coaster you will go <laughs> yeah but i mean like um i would never exchange it with anyone and just like as you said okay who would you like to live like for a day and your answer is myself yes because like i i don't want to imitate anyone i don't want i may look up to a lot of people yes Mm -hmm. But my life is my own. I have my own life purpose, and that's what I want to live. That's right. That's right. You know, these are just challenges. But if you have the yeah. strength, you believe in yourself, and you believe God is going to be there for you. Of course. Why fear? Right? Right. That's what it is. And we always have options. Whether you want to go right or left, it's your choice. So. Correct. Think about, you know, what makes you happy and what can what can you make others happy as well. I want to go yeah. back to our childhood memory because it's important, you know, to hear from our guests um, their fondest memory and, and, you know, whether it's the fondest or whether it's something that you want to share about your childhood. So sure. what, what would you like to share? I with guess I, I, I don't know why, but this one memory is vivid and stuck in my head, which was funny in a way. Um, it was I was running off with my my mom does used to do a lot of stitching and stuff. Um, she used to even run classes and teach mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. she was stitching something and there was a long strip of um, some cutting cloth there so i ran away with it just to tease her and what i found was just at that time probably three or four years old and my dad's shoes were huge with my feet this tiny and i just wore that and i'm running with it. i could barely walk in it trying to run with it running away with that strip of cloth and hanging around like holding in my hand I looked quite a sample, I think. I have a picture somewhere, I guess that's why it etched in my mind. And my parents, both of them, found it hilarious 
that I look so funny and like, and you know, such a nutcase, but um, I don't know, that's kind of stuck in my memory. It's a fun memory. So I guess that's why. And did you mention earlier that uh, you're the only child? Yes, I am. So how's the only child, you know, feel like in a family? Because I have seven siblings. <laughs> yeah, I we're a children factory. <laughs> but growing up, I did sometimes when I was talking to my friends, I would talk, hear them talk about their siblings, and I thought it would be nice to have a sibling to share things with. And then I'd go, oh well, I would have to share all my goodies also then. <laughs> so <laughs> I was happy the way I am, and I got a lot of love from my cousins and you know the extended. Nice. Um, I'm pretty i find i think i always count my blessings and i think i've been very lucky and yes now with three kids and a house full i am grew up not being used to that so i do yeah. need my me time every now and then and i just need to wind down and be by myself to recharge because i can't take too much of too many uh, people in the house all together i just need little half an hour breaks for myself so let's add on to that. So what is the best days of your life? Just one of the best days. Best days, I guess my the memories of best days is like when my kids were born. Because mm -hmm. the little bundle is handed over to you and when the child comes out, you say, what miracle of God is this, right? It's just like so amazing that it's just beautiful beautiful i can agree i i i absolutely agree when um i was alone in canada and uh, growing growing my belly with a baby baby girl and i talked to my baby until you know you know like when she was here i read books and so um because i i've uh, I've read somewhere that, you know, even during the pregnancy, you know, you start kind of like nurturing mm -hmm. your baby right from the start. And yeah. uh, I guess, you know, that also established a very good relationship between me and my daughter. Like, you know, we know each other already when she came out. And um, what a beautiful, it's a miracle. It's a miracle yeah. and it's, it's life. It's I, know, life. I, wish, I wish I knew because the bond that Reiki creates between mother and child is so amazing. I wish I had known Reiki at that time and I could have used it to help the baby as well as myself. Yeah, but now you can because you're a but teacher. Now I can, but now I don't plan to get pregnant. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Same for me. Same for me. They're grown up now. She's 23 and the guy is a 19 years old. So I, nice. I enjoy my life now. Um, you know, <laughs> not similar age group with my kids day. too. Yeah. 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 So honestly and truly, you know, um, babies are wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. A blessing. Totally a blessing. I cannot you know i i cannot forget that experience although i was alone but for the second baby you know I, my husband was already here so because he was still in dubai at that time and uh, um, you know again i look at the baby as a gift of love a, yes. a gift from heaven you know yes um, definitely yeah and so they they came out like that too <laughs> <laughs> i'm so blessed so let's talk about you know, what are you grateful for? I am grateful for, I there's so many things actually, the list is so long, right? But for starters, grateful for a roof over my head, grateful for the food on my table, grateful for my family being around me, right? And being healthy, grateful for that, grateful for the work I do, because I love what I do. I enjoy what I do. So that is a great blessing. Yeah. Right. And especially in these times. So this is just too many grateful for the air that you breathe. Yeah. And I'm grateful that I have a backyard. So when I don't feel constrained at home, I can always go behind and sit. I go sit, meditate under the tree and all that I'm grateful for. Amazing. Right? 
And that's one of the most important things, you know, as an exercise, if, you know, some people, you know, we call this, uh, uh, did you uh, get up from the right side of the bed? You know, I, I think I, I cannot remember a day that I woke up uh, grumpy. I'm always happy. Yeah. yeah. Same here. I'm an Something like, okay, okay, what do I do today? What do I look forward to? I, I'm, I'm just excited to see what yeah. know, this day will bring, right? Doesn't matter what is raining, right? But again, as we all know, you know, we are responsible for how our day would be, right? So it's about our reaction. And at the same time, it also, you know, um, how you would like to have your day uh, um, be amazing, right? So you started with a positive uh Thoughts. Yeah. yeah. And as you said, right, we have a choice. No Either choice. we choose to stay or you choose to stay grumpy and spoil your day. What choice are you making, right? It's exactly that. That's exactly my point, right? So it's yeah. always, you know, you choose your day. So even when, say, for example, I have pains or, you know, I, I when I felt sick, I was always positive thinking that, you know, this is just temporary. It will pass. And the next day I will be better and more active and I can do more things for others. Right. Yeah. And, and the right, right and the thing is, right, the if you have that attitude, you will heal faster and better too. Oh yeah. It is so right? true. It is yeah. so true. Yes. Well, you know, um, I've seen that happen in my life too, and uh, I'm sure some of our followers, you know, have their own journey in terms of their health, in terms of finances. But you know what? Um, all I can say is that stay positive. Yeah. Stay positive. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's it's good, you know, to to feel I've, good. Yeah, I've come across so many people that I know who have gone through like really bad stuff right and they still but whenever you may met them or ask them they were always upbeat smiling going through so much going through so much pain and yet having a positive attitude and that is what made them get through and now they are healthier and i always looked at them and i said wow if they can be so positive what the heck am i cribbing about right there's well, no think need. About, and think about those celebrities who were rags to riches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them, or many of them, I actually didn't have anything. They were right. actually, you know, like did not even have pennies in their pocket. But yeah, but the drive, the determination, the same positive. I will do it. I can make it. Right. Yeah. I will cross that bridge. Right. You know. And um, it's it's all about really. You know, it's all about the mind yes the mind. definitely so, Serene, i know that you know we're going to end our uh, conversation and so what could you share with our followers what parting words would you like to give them well all i'll say that is you know i find a lot of people keep going outside to look for answers and you know stuff that they're going through my advice is stop looking for things outside of you whether it's happiness whether there is any answers anything go within because everything is provided to you all the information knowledge deep inside your heart just quiet in your mind go inside and connect with your own self it will guide you in the right way and what you need to do where you need to go and the doors will open just go within everything is there and when you go within you will realize how we are all connected you'll get all that information you'll know that we are all one so yeah. that's the bottom line we are all one don't divide yourselves in race religion color and you know which country you come from all of that ultimately we are all one yeah so i i want to just give you a little bit of you know my experience when you say within and you know just be silent right I practice that very much especially when I have something new new projects or things like that I sit down and I just you know assess myself if I can do it what skills I have 
what values it will bring into my life is it serving my life purpose the one that i wanted right and uh when i'm silent and i listen a lot of create creative thoughts come yes yeah that's how i discover strategies <laughs> Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for being with us and thank you once again, Isreen, for thank you. being my guest. Uh, it's an absolute amazing, incredible conversation about life, about immigration, and most of all, you know, how we can pacify ourselves or calm ourselves during the time when we when things are rough. So um, thank you once again. And again, this is Rosanna Pinilla Barucha. And I uh, would like to ask you if you could just please follow our uh, YouTube channel as well as you know, uh, visit our Facebook page if you would like to uh, see what we are posting. And as well as I would like to invite you if you would like to become one of my beautiful, fabulous guests, please do message me and I would like to include you in our presentation. This is just all about sharing our stories, you know, so we can bring some hope, inspiration, friendship, and most of all, inspiration, I mean, uh, encouragement to people who are uh, listening or who probably is in this place where they need some help, right? So thank you once again for joining us. So see you again next time. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you, Nisreen. Thank you. Thank you.